Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to change the text in your announcement bar to scroll across the screen of your Squarespace website. Now, as always, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but let's hop on into my demo site so I can show you how to install them and the part that you're going to want to change. Alrighty, here we are in my demo site and really quickly, if you're not sure how to turn on this feature, navigate to marketing and then select announcement bar. Now at the time of recording this, this is only available for business and commerce plans, but if you have one of those plans, enable the announcement bar, and now at the top of my page you'll see I have a sentence and then a little X to close the announcement bar. Alrighty, let's select save and add this custom CSS. I'm going to go back to my main menu and I'm going to select design and then scroll all the way down to custom CSS at the bottom. Now again this code is beneath the video, I'm just going to grab the whole thing here except for this last line, this is an optional one. Now I'm going to copy this code and paste it here. What this last line does is it removes that little X so it won't be displayed. You can leave it there if you want to, but I personally like to remove the close options. Totally up to you, but let's scroll up and see this happen. All right, now we're going to see the text circle back around. There we go. We have the entire sentence scrolling across the top of the screen and that little X at the end following it. So you see why I might want to hide it. I'm going to scroll down to my custom CSS and paste that last line of code here. And now when it circles back around, we won't see that X, we're just going to see the text. There we go. So one thing that you might want to change about this code is how fast it's going. Right now, I've created the code so it scrolls at 15 seconds. It'll take 15 seconds for the whole announcement bar to go across the screen. We can change that if you want it to go slower, change the three instances of 15S to 30S. I'll add that there. And now when it comes back around, it's going a lot slower than it was before. You can also make it faster. Change the 30 to 10 and scroll by really quickly. So again, just adjust this to the number that you like to see for how fast you want that to go. Whatever you set it to, select save and you'll be good to go. Alrighty, that's it for this tutorial. And again, the code is listed in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something awesome. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you'll love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I took all of my pro tips and custom codes specifically for Squarespace and put them into one gigantic PDF. Available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.